All right, welcome back. Today we are going to be etching some copper with electricity and salt and water and vinyl decals and this sheet of copper. It's gonna be fantastic. Basically, I have these decals that I cut a couple sayings about two inch, uh, two inch by two inch squares. I will be etching into copper. So I will stick these down to this after I mix up my solution and then we'll head downstairs to where the electricity is. I'm gonna just start by mixing this with some hot water. I'm gonna get this water as hot as I can. Put it in the tub and the salt. There's no real science to as much salt as you're gonna add, just add a bunch. Just gonna add a whole bunch. All right, so now we've got our salt solution. I'm gonna mix it up until I can't feel any salt at the bottom. Kind of feel it a little bit gritty on your hand until you stir it up, dissolve all that salt. What we'll do next is stick on the decals. So I've got my piece of copper cleaned up. I just used some of this uh, green Scotch-Brite to kind of get off any of the contaminants before I go ahead and stick these down so they'll stick nicely. Peel this off. This one's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna rub real good specifically around the letters. All right, we're down here at the bandsaw and I've got my piece of copper. I'm just gonna cut around the sticker so I reduce as much of the scrap that I'm going to etch. And here we go. So we're back at the table, got our salt water, we've got our decals stuck to the copper, got the backer for the print, we've got our power supply, and I think we're just about ready to get this rolling. So first thing to do is going to be to finish covering the back of this. So to do that, cut this up, finish this off, cut that, get this on here, and I'm going to leave this part right here where there's copper showing to attach the uh, power lead. You're basically masking off anything you don't want to etch. Got the decals. All right, I think we're gonna try that. I've got this piece of steel for the uh, negative, which I think is large enough of a surface area to where it should do what I want it to do for this copper. I can't really find any other sheets lying around right now, so I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, we'll change it out. I've got my leads all set up, uh, and then I'll pop this in, and we'll set the current. Okay, so I've got the negative in there. I've got the positive here. Current and voltage are down. Drop this in. And now you'll see the voltage. I'm going to try to put this at about 1.5 volts. A little something to hold that down. All right, I can tell it's working because I cranked up the voltage and you can see it's starting to bubble. So that's a good sign. If you're getting bubbles off of your negative, that means that it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, we'll be back in a little while. It is right now 12 o'clock, five minutes after noon. Um, so I'm going to come back in about an hour and see what happens and uh, we'll give you the update. Okay, here we are. It is now about an hour and 15 minutes later and there is definitely some things happening. Let's see if I can get this glare out of this. Let's see how this looks. It's funky, that's for sure. You can see my voltage is up to uh, 2.4 and 0.23 amps of current. So whatever that's supposed to mean. Let's see what this looks like. It's definitely got some film on the top. Let's see what's going on. Can't really tell. I mean, it's definitely etching. How deep, I cannot really tell. We're going to leave it in longer, though. We'll just keep letting it go. Give it some more time. I'll come back and check it in another hour. All right, we're back down. It's an hour later. It's about 2.25. And we've definitely got some more funk, for sure. Let's see what we got. It's definitely deeper, the edge. You probably aren't going to be able to tell on camera, but my wire has gotten screwed up, so I might have to fix that. 
Looks like I need to make a little repair to my wire. So I made a quick repair to the back. I just cut that alligator clip off the end and taped the wires directly to the back with some decent tape and I hope that'll get me through the rest of this etch down. I lost some of the little pieces that go in between the letters which kind of sucks but this is just a test and um, perfection isn't necessary as long as you can read what it says. I think it'll be a decent test and we'll get something good out of these. Let that sit again. I'm gonna set another hour timer and uh, we'll be back. All right we're back down it's 3 30 and it's about three hours and some change since we threw this thing in here in this slurry of grossness here. So let's check this out. See what we got going on under here. Let's try to focus the camera this time. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just leave it for one more hour and then we'll come down and it is what it is. So apparently between 1.5 and 2.4, 2.5 volts and uh, that's kind of what you're looking for and these actually are pretty clean smooth etches. I think the lower the voltage you go and the longer you let it sit the cleaner and smoother the etch will be. It will not be as pity. It should be more overall matte looking uh, from the way I understand it. So we'll see. I mean obviously I can tell by looking at this um, it's already, it is that. It is matte, it is, it is very smooth, and it's not pity, there's not holes within uh, the etched area, so it looks pretty good. Um, I had done some other video, if you look back in my um, previous videos, there's one where I used some steel and did it with a higher voltage, and it came out quite pity. And again, some people like that look, depending on what you're going for, you can have it or not so this is the other side this is less voltage and it's using copper it's softer metal so i don't know if that makes a difference or not but it's looking good so far um, i'm going to give it one more hour it's 3 30 now i'll come back around 4 35 o'clock um, and we'll take this out and strip the vinyl and see if we can actually have the material that i was hoping to have to make a couple buttons out of this which is going to be part two of this video. This was just the electrical etching of the copper. The next part is going to be how I turn the copper sheet into smaller pieces and add a pin back to it so you can stick it into a backpack or your jacket or something of that nature. Okay, so we're back and it is now five o'clock. We put it in at just a few minutes after 12 and now it is a few minutes after five. Pulling it out, I'm gonna take it upstairs take the vinyl off and have a look. Let's see. All right, so we've got some hot water going on there. Makes this a lot easier to peel. All right, well, it looks like something has etched. I kind of like the effect it's getting. Not what I was expecting. Use some soap and water now, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here is the long of the short of it. Um, it was a long way to go for a result I was not quite expecting. Um, but I do know what I'm going to do differently next time. So. Here is the deal. Uh, I cleaned everything off and got all that extra uh, corrosive crap. I'm sure it's terrible for you and you should probably be wearing gloves and all kinds of stuff. Here we are. So this is one I scrubbed down after so you can remember it looked like that. And I'm going to leave the rest kind of like this because for the artistic value I think these are going to work for my purpose. Um, I, I think that it wasn't a total loss. I think it's cool. Uh, I'm going to explain what I think happened here. As you can see on these, there is a very sharp line where the mask was. So it was, the mask was holding on for a very long time, doing pretty well. And then it started to go under the mask. It started to work its way under, which is what's giving that halo. It's kind of cool, not what I was doing. So what I think I'm going to do is another test with more voltage and it'll be in there for less time. I just feel like if the mask is in the water less, uh, it will it will not do this plus you know it's like a flash burn through a mask rather than sitting in it all day long bath 
of acid. You know, um, obviously it gets time to work in there, and, and this is uh, four hours of time. And as you can see, it is deep. But what I think I can do is probably get the similar look without the blowout of the mask in like less than two hours with maybe six volts, five, six volts. Um, and we'll try that and see what happens. But in the meantime, I'm still going to do what I was going to do with these. There's six potential buttons there. They're about two inch wide, uh, two inch squares rather. And I think they look kind of neat once they're cut up into squares. Like you can imagine that as like a little pin. These are going to get heated up to uh, so hot that they turn black. And uh, that's part of the next video. So I won't even get into that. But these will be pins, uh, buttons, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we'll do that next. But anyways, thanks for coming along for the ride. I will do a follow-up on this just to see the same setup but with more voltage, less time. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your views. If you have any comments or suggestions or input in general about this or any other projects, feel free to put it down below.